it is our absolute goal to get facilities open as quickly as we can. Um, it, it's good for our workers who enjoy working with our, our residents. It's good for our residents. But we just didn't feel we should bring people indoors at this time. Talking and listening through Facebook Live is a challenge for public officials. You really can't cut off the questions and comments. And if you ignore them, the audience erupts. It's best if you respond to the best of your ability right then and there, with thousands watching. So that's what the city of Hampton did, a dozen times and counting. Mayor Donnie Tuck, City Manager Mary Bunting, and the city's marketing and outreach team put together forums for residents on COVID health, on city closures and changes, and on safety. And officials answered whatever was on the residents' minds, whether it was technically on the topic or not. Those immediate and open forums, especially with the state health department officials, answering questions were so popular and universal that other cities posted links for residents to watch or eventually did their own. With city council and school board elections in May, candidates couldn't knock on doors or attend forums. The city agreed to various neighborhood organizations creating and broadcasting a virtual forum for each race. Later, forums called Community Conversations and Standing in Solidarity confronted racial bias and policing practices, giving people the chance to vent, question, and comment. The mayor participated, but let a pastor and a changing panel of individuals and representatives of agencies and groups dominate the forums held away from any city building. In the time frame between the first March 18th forum and now, Hampton's already vibrant Facebook page saw comments increase by 108%, shares increased by 36%, and clicks on the posts increased 78%.